Hey guys, Gizmo Dragon here, and I am bringing you guys Artifact Assault again because I like I like Artifact Assault, don't we all? I think everybody does. Um, these are a couple of games I played with propaganda on the Xbox. We were just playing a shit ton of you know games with just the two of us. This is pretty much a two versus three because uh, we get two noobs, they get one noob, and they are all worthless and don't help at all. So uh, it just sucks. <laughs> So in the beginning of this, um, it was a really good match, but uh, I, in the beginning I had no idea what I really wanted to do. I wanted to kind of defend, since it's just pretty much us two, but I suck at defending. I really should have just, yeah, I, I just suck. <laughs> so eventually I just start doing my, you know, normal duty. <laughs> I said duty. Doing my normal duty and grabbing the fucking artifact. Um, I really like Animus Core. I, I do. I, I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm iffy about it because it's like, if it's a really good team, it's almost impossible to grab or even get out of um, one side of the map. It's just the middle area is so fucking hard to get past. But it, it is a fun map at times. Um, I'm using decoy and smoke in the beginning because it doesn't matter what level you are. I Like, even if you're high prestige, um, you, you won't fall for it, but you will like get thrown off. That's the point of decoy to me. People think, oh, why do you use decoy on high levels? Because decoy, it just throws you off. Because, um, you know, if I saw something running around right next to me, I'd freak out for a second, and then I realize, oh, it's just a fucking decoy. And I think everybody does that. Um, I almost make it here, but I keep going, and uh, there's somebody right here. Because, you know, not enough teammates to take people out who are already in our base, and... That is probably the most frustrating thing to be an artifact, art, uh, artifact carrier on Artifact Assault. To come back to the base and be killed in your base. That's probably the most... Because it's like if you see a, if you see a um, opportunity to grab the fucking... Like, no, to score the fucking artifact. And there's people in there and they end up killing you when you took take that opportunity. It's just extraordinarily fucking frustrating. Um, right here you can see how... Pretty much propaganda and I are trying to get this motherfucker while our teammate goes for the artifact, which we should really be stopping this bitch from scoring. But whatever, she ends up teleporting in, and at that point we can't do shit. Prop's dead. Our teammate has the artifact. He's probably gonna get fucked up because um, they really didn't need that much help to um, escort their teammate because their teammate had teleport and just had the backdrop. And what the fuck? I've never seen that fucking animation in my life. You guys tell me if you've ever fucking seen that animation. I've never seen anybody, you know, I went for the fucking acro stun, and I've never seen them turn around, turn me around, drop me to the ground, and kick me in the fucking face. I was like, dude, where'd this fucking animation come from? It's really cool, but I never fucking seen it. And that was just really weird for that quick second. I've, I've never seen that. And this person just runs right past me. I'm just guessing they are really really uh i guess engrossed in their own jobs of grabbing or defending and i get knife so there's absolutely nothing i can do could have tried to teleport away but i wasn't gonna risk fucking wasting teleport there's no point i have fast activating teleport it works it works so fucking stupendously but it makes no sense just to waste it like right there and um lucky me i spawn an area where i can cut this bitch off thank god <clears throat> Otherwise, she would have just hauled ass and made it in. And uh, I don't climb climb up to that thing for the fucking acrobatic because I'm always scared to get knifed. It's just it's just something that I'm always scared of in Assassin's Creed. It's like 
I used to not be able to, I mean, I used to be able to, you know, take acrobatic positions without getting fucking scared of being knifed. But now it's like, y you're so limited in your free running because no there's nothing you can fucking do anymore. You know, I used to be able to free run and get the fuck out of situations really easily. But, you know, that superiority people had because of free running is now gone because we have like this required range weapon and none of them. None of them are nerfed. All of them are just pretty much normal fucking cooldowns. And I think all of them need a big old fucking cooldown. It's really fucking aggravating to get knifed constantly, especially in modes like assassinate or something. Because it's like, people will needlessly knife you. Some people just knife you, run away. It's really fucking stupid. And by the way, this, this is a really good score. I like the score I make here. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's just, it's so fucking needless, and I think knives need a good cooldown nerf, and I mean, especially knives, like, I can handle gun, I can fucking handle gun, even though I still disagree with its quick focus and the amount of points you can gain from it by streaking and gaining other bonuses, yeah, that's pretty bullshit to me, but it'd be nice to have knives, you know, it'd be nice to see a little less of the fucking knives, I know they use defensively, but... You know, maybe that gives you a chance to introduce another defensive ability. But, you know, as of right now, we pretty much truly only have two defensive abilities. And that's Smoke and Knives. And that, that it's okay to have, you know, two. But, you know, if you're, we need to uh, nerf Knives down to... Uh, they need to be nerfed, like, really badly. And to get that... Oh, man, I start... I start really screwing up towards this part because I start watching it. Because I... I, you know, I'm really sitting here cheering for myself, and I start getting really into the match. So my brain kind of slows down, and I can't really talk. But, all right. Well, but what I was saying, <laughs> knives need cooldowns. That's all I'm saying. That's it's just, you guys know how it is. I mean, it sucks to be able, you remember in ACB, you were able to run around and be just fine. But, look, I got double knifed. That's so fucking unnecessary. And, you know, it would make more sense if people would, you know, would save their knives. Like, if they had high cooldowns, the knives would be used less because people would use them more. You know, they use them smart. It's like, oh, that guy's already knifed, so I'll make sure I won't double knife him. But now people, you know, everybody double knives just because. There's no reason why you shouldn't. I mean, why, why not double knife this guy? Because, you know, we're just going to get our knives back in the next, what, 30 fucking seconds? It's kind of overpowered to me. Not, not even overpowered, just annoying. Like, I would love to be able to free run out of situations for once in my life. And, you know, it's, it's not only just that, it's fucking the force pulling that is added into this game because Ubisoft thinks that nobody can kill anybody who free runs. Because it's so fucking hard to kill somebody like that. It's not. It really isn't. And... It's just that that was their way of nerfing rooftops. I think that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to add in a shit ton of knives and ranged abilities, and they were making it so if you try to acro wall jump away, you'll get shot and turn into fucking jelly. And nobody likes that. It's like, what is the fucking point, Ubisoft? Why, why would you do this to us? And fuck this guy. What is the point of having an NPC just sitting right there? That is really aggravating. That's an unnecessary obstacle that you can just run into. And, ah, oh, this is actually my favorite score. I would add in awesome fucking guitar music just to go along with this. Because this, this fucking score is really, really, really good. I'm just hauling ass all the way over here. I get knifed. And then I think I get knifed again. Again, again with the double knife. Annoying. And I just, I just squabbled my ass over here and I free run the fuck away from these guys. They are fucking everywhere and I am just hauling ass. Like, fuck you guys. Nah. No, I'm a free run all over the place, and you guys gonna have to deal with it. Cause that's how I do it. And there's two people here, one person on the roof, and I don't take direct route right into my uh, what you call it, right into my base because I know I can get caught with hot pursuit or somebody can jump and roof me. Cause I know one of them's probably waiting in our base, so it's always smart to just uh find a safe area and teleport in. That's that's always probably one of the smartest ways to uh, score your artifact, because special you know. Some of these teams are like really, really good defensively, so there's there's no way you can just take the simple approach all the time. And I think that's what differs in, you know, casual artifact assault and really, really good artifact assault. 
It's, it, I, I think that's what ma makes Artifact Soul so good. It's just the strategies you have to use. There's so much more. They're better. They're better than all the strategies you have to, you can use in the rest of the game modes. It's like in FFA, all you have to do is fucking bait. In other game modes, all you have to do is bait. It's just stupid. Or you just spam abilities on top of each other. On here, you can't really spam your abilities onto anybody. You gotta be smart. You gotta find a good way in, and have a little bit of luck. I mean, it's. I, that's, I think that's why it's so popular right now. Artifact Assault was good in um, ACR. Believe me, I didn't like it at first because I'm like, oh, it's just nothing but running. And But it was, it was really good. Aside from the fact that uh, teleport, smoking and teleporting was like the only thing anybody ever did. And that was really frustrating. And now we have shield, which is probably the best introduction. like intro, It's like the best ability introduction ever because shield, sh shield has changed so much of this fucking game. And Artifact Assault's made... Yeah, in Artifact Assault, it's made a big fucking difference, and it's really fucking fun because of it. I mean, defenders now actually can defend correctly the way they really want to. And I am freaking out. There's only 10 seconds left. I'm doing whatever I can to stop this bitch. I'm trying to teleport, catch her, and unfortunately, she makes it within the last second. And we lose the match. So regardless, it was a fun match, you know? Had all the kinds of fun. And Propaganda and I just, you know, continued to play matches after this. And it was just a really fun night. So I give it to these guys for being really, really fucking good at playing. But, nah. Nah, if we had one more teammate, we'd have been ripping them apart. Because cause we're just sexy like that. But, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my ranting. I'm still really fucking tired. I don't know why I keep doing these when I'm tired. I don't know what is the matter with me, but um, I'll bring you guys another video soon. All right, see ya.